All right, we are back asking more questions about Project Fugu. I'm Mariko. Here's Pete. All right. Let's get back into the questions. Sounds good. Yep. So Vincent asked to know if there was any one API that you think dev should start using today. Yeah. OK. So yes, I think there's one API that everybody should start using today, and that's the Web Share API. It's super easy to use, and it's something that makes it really easy to share any content from your site to any other installed app or to your friends or, or anything else. It's that you know if you click on your, your phone or your tablet and you click that share, it brings up the, the system provided share sheet. It allows you to sort of say, hey, I want to share content to that share sheet. Hmm. Um, so it's pretty slick. Oh, interesting. But like, what about the other directions, you know, like apps to share the content with you? Yep. So for that, there's the web share target. And the web share target allows your installed progressive web app to receive shares from other places. Um, it's pretty slick as well. And both, uh, well, web share is available in both Chrome on Android and in Safari. So it's already there across all the mobile browsers. And the web share target is just available on the Chromium browsers. So you can give that one a try. For both of those, check out web.dev forward slash web share and web.dev forward slash web share target. All right. Well, it sounds like those are like very applicable to wide variety of web. Uh, web applications, right? Like yeah. sharing stuff. Uh, but what about like some other APIs? What's available today? Well, I think my favorite one that I have heard developers ask for forever, like essentially since I started working on web development, is the Contact Picker API. Now, some people, the Contact Picker API might sound a little bit scary, but it's not. Because the key thing is, it doesn't allow unlimited continuous access to your contacts. It's a picker, so you get one time. You can go and say, I want to share this contact, this contact, and this contact. And it gives you sort of a snapshot of just those contacts. So sites can't go in and ask for more later. They can only get the ones that you provide. And you can also choose what information to share within each one. So if it asks for maybe name, address, and phone number, you can say, well, you know what? I'm only going to give it name and phone number. Oh, that's cool. So like, it sounds like a project could have like a lot of exciting features. Like, do you have more? Yeah, there are a whole bunch more. Uh, some of the ones that I think are really exciting or uh, that are available, the file system API, which allows you to read and write files to the file system without having to go through and download or upload stuff, is a really slick one. It's available as an origin trial right now. Um, and you can use it, because it's an origin trial, you can use it on real sites to build demos and prototypes and even roll it out to some of your test users. Um, in order to use it, you need to sign up for an origin trial token, which you can do if you just go do a quick search for uh, Chrome origin trials, and you'll see the list of all the things we have as origin trials. So origin trial, yeah, uh, it's like a way to test out the APIs before yeah. it's finalized. Yeah. Uh, so what's available in those origin trial stage right now? Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of stuff that's available as origin trials right now. And this is a really good time for you to provide feedback to us about how they work, whether you like them, whether they work for what you what you want them to do. And so the ones that I think are, are pretty cool right now, SMS receiver, uh, the native file system, we just launched the Web Serial API. There's one for content indexing, and there's a whole bunch more. Like I said, just go to a search for uh, origin trials, and you'll be able to see all the list of origin trials that are available right now. OK. So it sounds like you have a lot of APIs that you're yeah. working on. Yep. Uh, where's the best place to keep up with these development and like you know stage of each yep. API? Yeah. So, there's so many things that we're working on that in order for me to keep myself up to date, I keep a spreadsheet open. And if you go to goo.gle forward slash fugu API tracker, you get the full list of all the APIs that we're currently working on or will be working on in the future. And it's neat because it has a little flag to indicate when things are available behind a flag. There's a little green bar that indicates when something's available as an origin trial. There's a little fugu fish to say, hey, this is going to ship soon. So it's a good way to be able to keep track of what's going on. All right, that's all time we have for this episode of Ask Clom. Tune back in. We'll be answering more of your questions.